welcome back to my channel if you're new here thank you so much for tuning in please do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel if you're already subscribed thank you so much for coming back my name remains Biodo and today we are going to be doing something different if you don't know I actually know how to sew I have gone to two different tailoring schools at different times or different points in my life and I can actually sew Yes. Today I'm thinking of making um, a kimono or a kimono dress, something in that light and I want to take you guys along as I make this. I haven't been on my machine for over two years, yes, but that's going to change today. So I have time and I'm going to be sewing today. So guys, please come along with me. To start, we'll be needing our fabric, of course. This is the fabric we're going to be working with today. We'll be needing a piece of chalk to take outlines and measurements and all of that. A pair of scissors. Last but not the least, our measuring tape. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and double the Ankara into two parts. Like so. So you can see doubled into two so so you always uh, mark out your stuff from the back so i'm just going to so i'm gonna head to double the anchor into two um it's always good to mark from this the front and this the back so I'm um, taking my measurements from here so that when we finish we don't have chalk stains all over so now I'm going to be taking the, the measurement for my length my length is 49 but 48 rather but I'm going to be adding an extra one inch so that that can make up for um, the joining like the hemming beneath so have this so this is my length plus one so we can we can see this is 48 and i'm going to be adding extra one inch so that we can sew that in so i'm just going to make a mark there so this is my length so i'm just going to go ahead and fold the pieces into two again so making four so that's two here two here that's two here two here making four so now i'm going ahead to take the measurement for the neckline of our kimono for the width i'm going to be using 2.5 and i'm just going ahead to measure that out and for the depth i'm going to be using 3.5 so i'm also marking that out and i'm just going to trace that those lines so that they can join together and that's going to be the shape of our kimono neckline next thing is to cut out the neckline that we've just traced out so that's what i'm going to be doing now Cutting was such a struggle on this bamboo mat, it was so rough and uneven so I was struggling to cut properly. I eventually had to take the fabric off the mat when I wanted to cut other parts of the style. So the part where we've just cut out the neckline would serve as the front part of the kimono while the other part will be the back. So now I'm just going to slit up the front view because um, the kimono would have an opening in front obviously so I'm going to split that up right now. Now I think I want the neckline deeper than it is so I'm just going to go ahead and increase the depth of the neckline to my desired um, depth. I would be taking my measurements like 4 extra inches down. 
I had it at um, 3.5 before, so I'm just going to extend it to maybe 7 or 7.5 or maybe just 8, you know. I did not split the upper part of the kimono because I do not want any joining at the back or shoulder. I've gone ahead to measure out 5 inches from the sides of the fabric. That's the chalk outline you can see right here. And we are going to be using these 5 inches that have been marked out as a band that would cover up the place we slitted in front previously. Now I'm just going ahead to cut off the band. Now that the band is out, the next thing to do is to sew. So here I'm just joining together the two sides of the kimono and I'll also be folding the band that will cut out. That will serve as a band that we're going to attach to the front of the kimono. So here I'm just sewing all the way down the sides of the kimono. I already left a 9 inches gap between the shoulder and my arm which is going to serve as my arm hole so that I have where to put my arm when I wear the kimono. So that's why I'm not sewing the sides all the way to the top so I'm going to be leaving that space for my arm. The next day. Will someone look for me if I disappear? No matter how much that I scream, nobody hears. But I see the light from far away, it's down the line. Maybe I should not give up without a fight. Cause there will be a time. Oh, oh. So that's it guys that brings us to the end of my video i hope this motivates you and this is a cue for you to learn a skill this is something i learned years ago and it still comes in handy up until today even if i've not decided to go commercial yet i can always whip out something for myself and for me that's a win already so i hope you also go for something you love I hope you learn a skill. I would advise you to learn something you enjoy doing naturally so that you enjoy the process and learn very well. All right, guys, till next time. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do not forget. To and also give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Till next time, guys. Ciao.